All right, so now we are into Omid post, and there's some very interesting thing here. When you play the Royal Media game versus when you stop, okay, by Omid Kobe. So this one here, dated 2011. One of the best young pilots the country has ever seen. Top Gun Prince Harry amazes U.S. instructors with his flying skills. Rebecca English. That was back in 2011. So now, 2024. Is this a joke? Outrage as Prince Harry is to be named a legend of aviation alongside Moon Heroes Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin at glitzy Beverly Hills ceremony after flying a helicopter in Afghanistan. I mean, I hope the UK really looking at these nonsense these people are putting out there. Like I've said at the beginning of this video, any countryman will be so proud of their citizen who is being recognized. But these people, okay, this one in particular, okay, not only disrespecting their own citizen because Harry is a Brit, but uh, uh, the mindset, I'm sorry, there's no words. There's no word. Each time I think of something to say, and it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, once again, what significant contribution has Harry provided aerospace industry? Everything about Harry and the announcement talked about his military career and the Invictus game. That's a pretty low bar. Oh my God. My God. That's a pretty low bar that many have done multiple flybys over to be voted by his peers. I believe there's me here. I posted this. Okay. When I read this, I was like, what the hell is wrong with these people? Okay. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, a British army veteran and pilot with 10 years military service, flying training mission in the US, UK and Australia, as well as combat mission in Afghanistan, saving the lives of allies, forces and countless civilians and creator of the Invictus game for wounded service members and veteran around the world. Okay. So this is what they put here. This is my response to this one. Okay. Well-minded UK. I know there are some. Princess Diana's heir, Prince Harry, has represented the UK very well around the globe. As much nonsense going on in the US, the majority of us recognize a good human being. The US is not buying what the British media, royal rights, British royal family are selling. Harry is qualified for it. So this is my receipt here. Uh, who was the living legend? Okay. A Library of Congress living legend was someone recognized by the Library of Congress for creative contribution to American life. Okay? Remember, Harry, as a soldier, he was uh, uh, allies with the U.S. Okay? And so many other things. Now he's living in the U.S. He's still, okay, with Archwell. He's still doing things for not just American, for globally. Okay, those honored include artists, writers, then he write a book, Spare, even though he had a ghostwriter. Okay, writers, activists, what is heavy right now? Isn't he an activist? Okay, filmmakers, physicians, entertainers, sport figures, and public servant. I underline the parts that heavy is qualified for. Okay, writers, activists, public service. I mean servant okay the other screenshot that i put here wow this is very small okay what make a person a living legend great individual often inspire others and leave a lasting legacy to their action and achievements on the other hand a legend is someone who impact influence or legacy transcend their own time and continues to inspire and all people for generation to come Well, that is one of the things that worried me, to be raised to the position of a semi-god, because then uh, you are no longer a human being. Right. I wanted to be known as Mandela, a man with weaknesses, some of which are fundamental. That worried me a great deal, especially because I knew it was not at the contribution of an individual which would bring about liberation mm -hmm. and the trans peaceful transformation of the country. And my first task when I came out was uh, to destroy that myth 
that uh, I was something other than an ordinary human being. Whatever position I occupied, it was as the result of my colleagues, and my comrades in the movement. Climate change wreaking havoc on our planet, with the most vulnerable suffering most of all. The few weaponizing lies and disinformation at the expense of the many. And from the horrific war in Ukraine to the rolling back of constitutional rights here in the United States, we are witnessing a global assault on democracy and freedom, the cause of Mandela's life. According to Freedom House, our world has grown less free every year for more than a decade and a half. As so, as so often happens in history, the consequences of decisions made by most, some of the most powerful people in some of the wealthiest countries are being felt even more deeply across the continent of Africa. The pandemic, the war and inflation have left Africa mired in a fuel and food crisis, the likes of which we have not seen in decades. Worse still, this comes at a time when the Horn of Africa is enduring the longest drought it's faced in close to half a century. And what is happening in Africa is not an isolated event. The drought there is a reflection of extreme weather we are seeing across the globe. As we sit here today, our world is on fire. Whatever position I occupied, it was as the result of my colleagues and my comrades in the movement. Mm -hmm. What is heavy doing right now? Doesn't this definition pretty much is heavy? My goodness. Two people like it and there's one retreat. Okay? Heavy is doing a good thing and representing the UK very well. All right, so let's see here. What else here? <laughs> That's Jodiva. Tell them, Omid, drinking haters' tears. Okay, when you play the media game or when you were forced to accept them as a gatekeeper of your life. <laughs> That's another thing here. Okay, the UK media are a joke before the world and demented. Their words? <laughs> There's another receipt here. Prince Harry named top of his class an Apache helicopter training. That was 2012. Okay, one of the best young pilots the country has ever seen, Top Gun Prince Harry amazes U.S. instructors with his flying skill. That's the same thing I just read a few minutes ago, 2011. Okay, Harry has surpassed all expectations, including his own on rigorous course, Prince hoping to return to Afghanistan next year. And the thing is that, the reason, I'm telling you, as much as uh, the U.K. media is so freaking evil, but this is the part where I think I have a clip of that where um, Tyler Perry w uh, was explaining when one door closed, something else opened for you. If I have the clip, I'll put it here. And, and I don't care how many doors slam because what I found about doors closing and all this other stuff, not a lot of times that's not a bad thing because what is what happened in my yep. life is as these doors were closing, I was forced to go in another direction. I had to go right, I had to go left, and it's like being in a maze, mm. and you run into a brick wall. It's like, no, I, I was supposed to go this way. No, 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 there's another way out. You just have to find it and keep pushing and pressing. So so all you need is that one yes, mm -hmm. one yes. The UK outed uh, where heavy was in Afghanistan. So he had to return back home. Now. Harry wants to return back to uh, Afghanistan or to the military, but they because the, the, the tabloid in the UK have outed him, they know, I believe, his group, okay, you guys could correct me on this, whatever group he was part of, it would be dangerous for the people around him. So in order for him to go back, he has to do something different. This is, this is insane. Because of that, he learned to fly a freaking helicopter to defend his country, but yet they still put him down. 
He did it so well. That's how much he was motivated to go back. He did it so well. In order for him to go back. And you know. They, they, you know, the instructor let people know he did very well. Okay, not because he's a freaking prince. Because he could handle that multi-million dollar helicopter. So they let people know he did very well. So that allowed him to go back. This is where another door opened for him. Meanwhile, by doing all of this, while the tabloid was preventing, blacking him, or, you know, putting roadblocks after roadblock for him, He's finding another door open for him where he had to push through it. This is not easy. Not anybody could do that. Okay. He had to push through it. And now he's being recognized for it. And they hate him for it. The island is evil. That island is evil. You could see why. Every place that they go, they left destruction. Because these people are pure evil. This is not normal. I hope the world see what the UK is all about because this is not normal okay for these people cannot accept the fact that someone is doing well instead of applauding congratulating be happy or completely if you're jealous just ignore but they will try to bring you down this is not normal, people. This is not normal. I hope the entire world recognize this. And if any one of you have that same kind of mentality, this is how it plays out for, to other people. This is not normal. Any country will be very proud of their citizen to be recognized in a positive way. Whoever, whichever country is giving the award, okay, for something positive, your respective country will be very proud of you. But do you care? Nope. Nope, this is evil. Okay, learning to fly the 40 there's the uh, amount here 46 million pound gunship at Californian Air Base where the hit film Top Gun was filmed. Okay, so whatever before the nonsense went off, they were already telling the truth. Okay, there's the laugh here out in the real world, we know better, but meanwhile. <laughs> I'm telling you, super the monarchy falls below 50% for the first time. Yeah, I saw it a while back. I didn't even bother because I have some issue with the Republic 